I don't understand what people like about heavy metal. I don't understand how anyone can like heavy metal. I hate I heavy metal. I don't hear any musical quality. I think heavy metal vocals found in many genres. Metal, metal, metal music, music is trash. Have you ever cried yourself to sleep alone in a dark room? When I was 12 years old, my mom's boyfriend beat the shit out of her. The image of her purple and swollen face still scars my memory. She was hospitalized overnight and I was cut off from all contact with her. I would have given anything just to hear my mom's voice telling me that she was all right, but all I heard was an unanswered ringtone. Soon after this experience, we moved to a new town and I was transferred to a new school while she found odd jobs to support us. And although we escaped her abusive relationship, I still felt the effects of it long after that night. Every time I called my mom and she didn't pick up, I'd start to panic. I'd have constant nightmares of her dying and wake up in cold sweat. I developed anxiety and a sense that horrible things could happen at any moment. And in order to cope, I lived in a zombie-like daze where I tried to numb my anxiety with video games. As a 12-year-old, I had no friends. I suffered quietly. I suffered alone. And I was drifting through life without purpose. One day, my clanmate messaged me and told me that he made a music video of our team's video game footage. I downloaded it, pressed play, and my ears perked up. What is this? <laughs> The music that was rumbling alongside the video was unlike anything I'd ever heard before. It was loud, it was angry, and it grabbed me by the shoulders and shook me awake. I found out that the song was called The Game by the band Disturbed. I then discovered bands like System of a Down, Power Man 5000, and Linkin Park. And without me realizing it, I found myself playing less and less video games. Back at school, I soon met a kid with thick rimmed glasses named Scott. He told me that he knew how to play chop suey on guitar. Being that I didn't have any other friends, this was a big deal to me. One day, Scott begged me to go to a local show with him. I was hesitant because I'd never been to a concert before, but since I didn't have anything else going on that night, I gave in. I had no idea that this small decision was about to change my entire life. That night, Scott dragged me to a church behind our local Costco. I couldn't help but notice the people around me. They were tattooed, they had piercings, and they were wearing all black. My palms started to sweat. Holy sh! I thought to myself, is this where drug dealers hang out? Am I gonna get beat up? My heart began to beat wildly, but it was too late. Scott grabbed the door handle and swung it wide open. What the f is this? Overwhelmed was an understatement. The music was loud. People were swinging and kicking, and I needed an adult. But as I sank into my surroundings and felt the chaos of the music surround me, I realized nothing else seemed to matter. None of the feelings of isolation and loneliness, none of the anxiety about my mom's past, there was something about seeing this vocalist aggressively empty his soul out into a microphone that changed something in me. That was the moment I found something to live for. After that night, I used LimeWire to illegally download as much music as my mom's PC could handle. I started plastering my room with posters of Bring Me the Horizon, Kill Switch Engage, and Bleeding Through. I would go to local metal shows with real life friends. I ditched my polos for black band shirts and grew out my hair. My newfound love for music blossomed and evolved into me performing it. I joined my first band at 15, and for the next 10 years, played countless shows, released a full-length album, and toured internationally. It doesn't matter what your background, ethnicity, gender, or religion is. When you come out to a metal show, you're part of a big, rowdy family, and you can leave all your problems at the door. You can geek out and bond with total strangers about your favorite bands. You can be a bunch of goofballs and show off your air guitar moves. You can join a mosh pit and let loose. And when you fall down, people will lift you up. 
A couple years ago, after I went through a rough breakup, the first people who called to check up on me were people from the metal scene. They made me feel worthwhile when my self-esteem was at an all-time low. They showed me that I was going to make it through today's pain and grow stronger, and that they would be there for me every step of the way. You see, people on the outside think that metal music is just noise, that it's trash. But this trash has allowed me to find my people, my tribe, my family. Let me ask you this. Have you ever cried yourself to sleep alone in a dark room? I have, and I've survived. And if there's one thing that metal has taught me, it's this. You are not alone. Since the metal community has helped me so much, it's my turn to give back. 10 years ago, when I started my metal journey, I wanted more than anything to be able to scream in front a metal band, but I didn't have the money to afford lessons. That's why I'm opening up the Screaming Scholarship. I'm gonna be taking on 10 aspiring musicians and will be personally mentoring you in order to help you unlock your scream for free. If this interests you, then scroll down and click the link in the description to apply, and I'll see you inside. Yeah. Never said goodbye Give me that gun Never face you